Hello, welcome to the Vibe Tribe. So glad you could join us. Ready to experience something fun, something that helps you connect? Me too. Let's start with some breathing to gather some focus, and then we'll see where the momentum takes us tonight. Okay, everyone, we're going to do an intention of feet flat on the floor, and the hands are going to be open in front of you. However, that feels good. It feels kind of like this to me. So I'm just going to let a little focus float with there. And we're going to intend a little chest breathing. I want to pull a breath in my chest and push it out my mid back. Do two or three of those. Good, hands are gonna come in front of you almost like a little cup. And in our minds, I were just gonna to intend to feel that. And this comes through with kind of a rainbow energy fill. So fill your cup with rainbow energy, color. Remember we're in Roy G. Bib with that. We've got all the colors of the rainbow. And then in our mind's eye, let's be a little silly. It's as if we're gonna take this and kind of drink that. Color goes all the way down through the body digestive tract, and integrates. I like to use color with breath and focus because it's symbolic so many times in our world to help us open doors and loosen energy around our relationship with self. So just by intending to kind of swallow a rainbow there, we opened up our mind's eye and we're ready to play. Okay, got one more breath layer for us. This one we're gonna do a visualization. Okay, regular standing posture shows up, so do that in your head. And then this, this is what I see. So we're gonna do right arm above the head, and then left arm will be just down by your waist. So it's kind of a straight posture like so. And if you can visualize to breathe, to take a breath into your right arm and push it out your left arm, we're gonna do one of those, no color, just focus. And then the arm seems like it's changing. So we're just going to let that shift. Right arm down by my side, left arm up. But again, we're going to breathe in the right arm and out the left. So pull that energy that way with your intention. Okay, now hands are going to come in front of you. And just hold them together like this. Palms flat against each other. Kind of feels like they're you know mid-chest, if you will. And we're going to take a fluorescent green inhale in your mind's eye, in your hands, and then shoot it out your elbows sideways. Okay, hands come together connected, fingertips touching, open a little space in there. And with intention, we're going to breathe a yellow in between the fingers and let it fall down the elbows into the ground. Beautiful palms go up on the lap. This is an arced energy. So what that feels like to me is if it's almost coming from outer space and into your hands, and we're going to use orange color with that. So take kind of follow the breath, bring it down, do a regular exhale. Do one more of those. Make it more gold this time. Very good. A little clarity on the breathing there. Our intention is always, like I said before, to open our own doors. And each time we're connecting, the reason it's different is we're different. We're vibrating at a different self every time we meet. So today that was kind of our recipe for door opening for self. Super fun. Okay, I'm ready to invite a friend on so we can see what the energy is saying and we can dance. Megan gives me a green light. We're going to invite her on. Just one second while she connects. It's nice to see so many awesome names on here tonight. There's my friend. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Absolutely. So right out of the gate, you're vibrating a clarity to me. If that's something we can kind of lean into and find, it feels like relationship with self 
and it feels like you've stood up for yourself. Any things we can talk about with that? Standing up for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had an interesting conversation with a coffee lady today, but I don't know that it was standing up for myself. Oh, go there a little bit because it does. It kind of links into that. What was the vibe? Um, well, she was telling me about how she used to be an in-home therapist, and I was mm -hmm. telling her about uh, the adventures and play that we get doing in-home homemaker services, because you walk in there and you never know what you're going to get to clean with. And yeah. I don't, I just kind of owned it. That's, you nailed it. It's kind of like I am who I am feeling, right? Yeah, it was good. She also called me approachable and uh, open. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. Good. Thanks. I want to give you kudos on that from other times when we've chatted in Vibe Tribe where there was some energy about being a face of the business, right? Yeah. So yeah. in my language, I would call that a strawberry. You put on an intention. I want to have a new face to my business. And you had an affirmation from a stranger via law of attraction that brought you exactly what you needed confidence in. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. It was perfect. Nailed it. I feel it would be okay if you wrote that down, what she said, maybe a couple places on a sticky note or two and just kind of keep it tight here. Yeah. It's easy to remember growly things people say, but sometimes those good things, we don't keep them in quickly enough. So I'd, I'd like you to play with that a little bit. Sure. I don't think I'll forget someone calling me approachable though. That, that <laughs> blew my mind. <laughs> it's what you need. It's what you needed, wasn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That was crazy. Very good. Okay, layer feels clear. We're set for right now. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank Namaste. you. You're welcome. Bye, Megan. Namaste. Bye. Look what she did. We kind of, we call that bending energy where we put an intention out and we're so attached to it with such an open mind. We know we flipped the coin around some beliefs, shifted our energy, and she got right back what she was looking for, which was some clarity on who am I? Nice job, Megan. That was perfect. Okay, kind of being led back into a little uh, clarity layer on self right now and also being aware of the channel receiving mode, I call a, an energy field of myself that I call Saul, sort of like soul. It's a part of my higher self that I connect with when I'm receiving on behalf of myself or anyone. And I feel that merging coming in right now, like, hey, everybody, let's pull in our higher selves right now so we have the best experience with Vibe Tribe today that we can. So just with a breath, maybe in your chest, maybe in the top of your head, whatever feels good. I choose to connect with all the parts of me, even the ones I don't see. Perfect. Feel that door opening. It's funny. It's almost like I heard a creaking sound right then with some people like, ah, sometimes I open this, sometimes I don't. But I know most of you that have been playing with Vibe Tribe have really been getting that door to open really quickly. So beautiful. Okay, next friend we get to invite up. Okay, it's Linda. Linda, I wanna ask her a question. Let me see if I can get her pulled through right here. We were having a little um, tech thing when we danced with her before, but let's see if her vibration will hook up with us right now. Sometimes when we're playing in the now, things give us data. If it hooks up, great. Oh, it looks like I have a friend. Hey, I'm here. Dang it. I love it hey. when things work out. Welcome. Love it. Me too. So you're just lighting up my whole energy field and heart with something that is, um, I don't know if the word is faith or trust, but you're just a pillar in, I got this energy linking to whole life plan. Have you felt that lately? Um, I, I, I like that. I like I don't that. I know that I would put those words to it, but I like that. It's an, I got this feeling and it's, you're just radiating it. So I just want to give you huge kudos there and appreciate that. I had a really cool thing happen last night and that might be what this is. Okay. Tell me. Is, um, you know, when you told us to kind of, you know, before we went to bed, you know, do kind of the walking. Okay. So I had this visualization that I was going to do this really calm yoga, walking around my bed and I lay down. And instead, I did somersaults and flip-flops and cartwheels and jumping, and I was just having a blast. 
And um, then I woke up this morning and I've never experienced this before, but I had this just, um, I, I dreamt all night, but I had this strong sense of just love. I am loved, I've, I mean, to, to my core. Uh, and so that might be what you're experiencing. I mean, it was, it was awesome. It and, and all day, whatever there'd be, whatever, I would just go back to that. So whatever happened, it was pretty cool. Well, you nailed it as far as what I would consider the homework that was given. Yeah. And look what it you was really cool. It was it's very, really cool. Effervescing from you. Yeah. Um, you talked to yourself through that conversation before bed and got the absolute law of attraction. Yeah. And very intention. Cool. It was very cool. Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of but you. But also the, the, the somersaults and the, the cartwheels on the bed were kind of fun too. Since I can't <laughs> <That's incredible. those> <laughs> You're like, I'm a gymnast. It's all good. I'm, I'm a gymnast. Yeah, I'm a gymnast. You know, in, in my other life, I'm a gymnast. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So. Well, your energy feels really clear with that. And I just want to thank you and appreciate you for connecting and being so open, as always, and, to, and, and with this session right now. Um, there's one other little kind of, like, flag energy waving at me. I want to okay. grab it. Okay. This is... True, no matter if I say it or not, but you're better than you've ever been. And because the way energy works with constant expansion, it's just a thing, if you will. But you have aligned some layers in the self-connection that I don't know if you've seen with you before or not. And I don't mean just with the dream last night, but it feels right. like for about a month, it's like. No, I, this, has so. been, this has been a great experience. Yeah. <laughs> Remembering parts of myself and reconnecting has been awesome. Well, you're an absolute angel. I so appreciate your time with me right now. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. So thank you, my dear. You're welcome. The energy must have wanted me. So. It totally did. I was like, okay, Linda, rock and roll. Thank you, my thank dear. You. Thank you. Right. Love to stay. Same. Amazing. She just, she almost brings me to my knees with just total appreciation for her journey. She's just shared things through, through the vibe tribe here that are, I mean, mind blowing and inspiring. And to know that there's people on the path before us, you know, like Linda, who have had some life experience and are still eager to learn thrills me. She's had connections in, um, her own evolution where she was studying Seth right from the beginning. And she brings that to all of us every time she chats. And, and just opens our minds with what is still possible. It feels like to me, um, through my years of kind of playing with energy, that there's like a chain of energy and it, things get passed down generation to generation. And she's one of those kind of soul people that holds that energy and brings it forward and hands it on. So thank you, Linda. I appreciate you. Okay, everyone, we're kind of being brought back into another breath layer. So let's dance here for a second. Okay, we're gonna take gold and white and it's like we're gonna open it into the chest with an inhale and then super long exhale. Push it out maybe 10, 20 feet in front of you on that exhale, gold and white. Try a couple. last one was a strong one it was like i felt like the red carpet was being rolled out for us especially for the session right now so um big strong invitation from energy world to let's let's play let's really do this thing so inviting another person on see where we get to land carrie gives me a green light let's invite her on flowing really good this one hi Hello there. Can you see my magic starlight? I guess. <laughs> okay, I'll make it stop. <laughs> Hi. Hi, friend. I'll try and make my sparkle stop. No, I would never want you to. <laughs> You're bringing me an effervescent joy, and I know mostly that's about being here and, and playing on this level oh. but it's like you've refound this golden nugget in your own self that you're giving me like hey i know who i am and i'm ready to share it so there's like a world stage oh. energetic coming in carrie it's brilliant oh. uh -huh. wow that must be my shining star <laughs> <laughs> i know i've got some back here too it's all good oh my gosh that's hysterical well thank you that's you're welcome um, 
Yeah, I've probably have been dreaming bigger than I've ever dreamed. Tell me more. I think often, well, I think often we kill dreams. We've talked about this a lot in Vibe Tribe. Mm -hmm. And we talked about opening floodgates and allowing and leaning into. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, this daily practice, oh my gosh, I mean... Pfft, it, it keeps you in the now and these amazing things. So, yeah. And I, I think that's what we've, we've been hearing from everybody is that we're playing bigger. Yeah. Yes. And that amplifies on that stage. It's like every little vibration, whether small or big, has a trajectory. And when we intend on that bigger layer, it feels like that trajectory. It's almost like it just, it I don't know, it bounces out further. So it's kind of like that rolling out the red carpet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surreal. Like, mind-blowing how <laughs> everything works intricately and always has but we're really just waking up to a lot of it yes which makes everything more fun i mean from tying oh, your shoes yeah. to you know doing your dream business those focused mindful connections are what give you the joy yeah or like linda like setting her intention before bed and that that's crazy and megan i'm so proud of her for i know flipping that coin i oh know my gosh and so fun to play with a group of people where you don't really know each other but now we intimately know yeah. each other without knowing each other and we're cheering each other on and thinking about each mm -hmm. other throughout the day and stuff that's a lot of fun you feel like you have a whole tribe of new friends that hold space for you and vice versa carrie i literally couldn't have said it better myself that's amazing Aww. i mean that's awesome and side note i was listening to a ted talk today and it was actually the person was talking about how that's what people are looking for and we know that from our tribe yeah. book and everything but they were saying that that was the, the the key to helping people come out of depression even was to find something that lit them and a group to play with so thank yeah. you for being my tribe yeah. <laughs> life changing <laughs> appreciate you love everyone thank you for playing thank you bye friend bye shoot for the stars friends because that's where you're going no matter what. Every single energy that you put out via law of attraction comes back. Yes, you can block things without meaning to, which is why when we connect, we're bringing our whole selves to the table. And sometimes we do kind of little tricks of the trade to open doors that we maybe feel or don't feel that are blocked. So we're always wanting to get the maximum experience out of our day and our life experience. Awesome. Being brought into one more breath focus here, I always like to help through each, every person we talk to, we want to kind of make sure we integrate and blend because there's a lot of info coming through. So this one's a visualization. We're going to sit cross-legged in our mind's eye. And again, hands feel really open on this. And this is something um, in the Abraham Hicks world we would intend to call receiving mode. So in our mind's eye, we're just saying, I'm open to the best version of me in the now. Who, yeah, that's a goodie. I just felt goosebumps. I love that, which is a symbol for alignment for me and many people. When you catch that feeling where something just kind of glitters through you like that, embrace it. I always encourage people to think about what was the last thought you just had. Well, for us, it was receiving mode and it's like, shh, takes you right to the center and lets everything vibrate. Awesome. Okay. There's a match here um, for a little story about relationship with self for me right now. Um, some of my vibrations at times in my life have made me wobble or given me uncertainty. And those also are welcome in Vibe Tribe. We, we want to come together and say, whatever our past was, we're not going to really spend all day looking at it, but it does make us who we are in the now. So we're not trying to deny that, but we are open to and able to bringing it in and giving it a new life, giving it an opportunity um maybe sometimes it's even just a hug and a kiss and a let go truly but in our now is where we get to play i like to quote eckhart tolle a lot around that because his work has been divine with his power of now and um just the way he appreciates the relationship with self and bringing it in uh there is no past or future technically there's only now so let's play a little more in our now who else gets to come up today
Kathy gives me a green light. Let's invite her on. Get some flow here with a friend. Beautiful. I love it when it all falls together. She's really in receiving mode right now. I can tell you she's just got a, a really lovely vibe coming through. There's a holism about Kathy that I felt before where it's like, you know, what you see is what you get, but look one step deeper and you will see yourself in her because the way she broadcasts is truly divine. Hmm. Come on, friend Kathy. I know you're there. It says accepted and connecting. Part of Vibe Tribe of being in the now is, is being able to take a breath and just saying it's okay. The technology is getting here. It's working its way through. She's finding us. All is well. I've got my tech man and husband here to my right. <laughs> I know he's probably got an idea for me, but Kathy, I'm going to go ahead and resend that. I'm going to push it down one for a second and give it one more chance to come through. I know she can hear me and she knows we're having an open door for her right now. It's like Eckhart teaches when you're standing in line and you feel impatience come in, that that is part of the you that comes up and it's like, that needs a little love and light. Look at that. <laughs> and our friend is here. <laughs> Welcome. Just take a breath, that's all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Namaste, Hi. friends. Appreciate you. Too. Love you. You too. So you're giving me I know it's so good. So you're giving me like this story feeling like almost like your who you are story or what why do you even bother to connect in this way every day? What does your connection mean to you, Kathy, as a as a master like you are? What what why bother? Who cares? Oh. Yeah, interesting. Um probably because I think I'm still like looking for validation or acknowledgement like you know you think all the masters write books and you know and, and they are all acknowledged in that way and I'm really like into the books and things so maybe that's where that's coming from where I just think that I'm supposed to do that to be there you know <laughs> like I made it kind of thing mm -hmm. so yeah that's an interesting yeah, vibe like hmm it's an interesting vibe because not only did you nail what the question was, but it's like you're opening a new door then to answer your own question, which is what do you need to be valid in the energy world? Nothing just to be here. You. <laughs> yeah. And it's a choice we yeah. make every day and you don't have to be a person who has an energy connection or have a business in the energy world to play like this. It truly is the vibe in the now and the choice to open the door and you don't have to have a magical recipe. You just want to hook up and you hook up. Right. Yes. Good. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Cause, cause and I you think are... that's a self-worth thing and, and, you know, probably ties, ties to childhood. And if you're even, yeah. you know, worth anything, right. you know, so yeah, I think that's where that's coming from. So, yeah. And which is helpful because if you're in the past, that kind of thinking comes up if you're stuck in the past or looking outward rather than inward and in the now, mm -hmm. which is totally different and happier and freer and better. So thank you. I couldn't have said it better, girl. You are, you're so clean and clear at this. It's like, it's like when you give me your energy field and I sense and receive it, it's like, yes, you're good. Yeah. Yes. So, well, you make it very easy to, to trust what you're saying because you're so it, you're a safe place to land. Okay. So, so, and you're very clear and you're challenging in a safe way that makes me go, Oh, well, what about this? And what about that? And it's, it's a very, you're just so good. I just appreciate you so much. So. Thank you, sweet woman. I appreciate <laughs> you too. You're just a treat to me. Um, I've, every interaction I've ever had with you my whole life, I've walked away a better person. So thank you friend. Thank you. Me too. Yay. <laughs> You're clear. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> See you that. Bye, everybody. Bye. It's nice, to have, it's nice to have someone to play with who does have some history in the energy world, but again, it's not required to play on this level. I mean, we all have the tools, if you will. They're our birthright to connect and play with energy. You are more than a body, like it or not. Connect with it. It's a fun place to be. 
Okay, we get another person to dance with. I say dance because it feels like we never know where we're going to go. B gives me a green light. Let's invite her on. Accepted and connecting. My friend, welcome. Hey. Lovely to see you. Good to see you too. So you're walking a new path since the last time we connected. Can you feel this like, it's almost like a, a strut or it's like <laughs> a, a good feeling. Can you sense that in yourself? Yeah, I, there's a confidence. Yeah, it's a different confidence for sure. Well, it's talking to me in the realms of done, like check mark. Don't have to go nice. and play around with that anymore. But it, again, it feels like a strut. And I say that with love because confident people have a walk, don't they? Yes. Yeah. And you're showing me that in the energy realm. So way good there. Thanks. Well, this this platform is so cool and it's awesome to connect with like minded people. So, yeah, it's lovely. So thank you. Well, thank you. You're amazing. Um, you want to dance on another layer? You give me something. I think it's All right, easy. Let's do okay. It. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is a connection. It came under significant other category, but it's not a human. It's your okay. higher self. Okay. So let's go there for a second. I know you connect and talk to that part of you often. I can feel that. Um, are you in the school of thought where you name that part of you, or do you just keep it really neutral as an energy flow? So I don't have a name. Nope. Okay, which is nope. lovely. Fine. Neither There's yep. neither here nor there on that. Yep. So if you're open to sharing, what was the last impulse or what feels like a message from your higher self to you? It's okay to not be so rigid <laughs> on things <laughs> and just kind of go with the flow a little bit more and it all connects and um, it all works out. It does. Kind of like, you know, the, the, you know, what I was talking about earlier was the last time, you know, it'll all, it all happen. You'll figure it out and, you know, just, just be with, with the now. Cause that's all we have right now. You are a shining example of that. Um, and just one more kind of clarity on that. When you get a feeling like that, where does it sense from with you? Do you hear it? Do you feel it? Do you write? It's a knowing. It's a knowing. It's a it's knowing. knowing. Yeah. I would yeah. think that's a good way to know that you know, right? Yeah. It's almost like a thought yeah. pops in and you just you just you own it. Yeah. That's excellent clarity. Yeah. Um you're processing really well and it feels like that message to self could be on autoplay for a month. It's like every day. Awesome. Do 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 and just let it keep working because it's building self-esteem and confidence that affects that walk and that presentation to the world. Awesome. Lovely place Thank to you. be. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you guys. Bye. You Bye. too. Much love. I played with her recently on a session of Vibe Tribe and she opened up some amazing doors to self, cleared that energy. And that's what I was perceiving right when she came on. It's like, wow, I've got this going on. And confidence and certainty when you mean it shows up on your face. It shows up in your attitude. It actually then creates a space where, again, we always talk about law of attraction. It brings that back to you. Whatever you put out comes back. And that mirroring energy is what we always want to allow for ourselves. Vibe what you want. You guys are the best. I've had the most fun ever playing with you in this session. Um, your hearts are just everything to me. It's just absolute pleasure. I appreciate you. Love you. See you next session. Bye.